Okay, and uh, back again, and we're drying off nicely here. I've put a little bit of masking tape on, around the edges of the ribbon so that while I'm painting it, we're not going to get bits of paint on the ribbon. So this one I've decided is going to be a sort of monochrome curious case. Um, I've done the really bright rainbowy one. I've done a pink and purple and gold one. And this one, I wanted it to be, yeah, sort of monochrome. And I think I'm going to put the highlights of silver on it, um, which I'm quite looking forward to doing. I've already um, made some bits of paper and just randomly painted and smushed and sort of printed with each other some bits of paper that I'm going to do the decorations with and um, the things that go inside. And I've also got some cereal boxes and I've been, I've painted those as well. This is how I made these by uh, sort of printing and things over the top of them, smushing a load of paint in. So these are going to be the base, bases of the Oracle cards that's going to go in here. Um, so you can see the colour scheme that I've sort of gone for. So I've got plenty of cardboard already painted, good to go. So I'm going to initially cover this totally in black. And then we're going to add um, some white and grey and silver highlights to, to it to make it look beautiful. So I start inside here because I can smush a load of paint in there and then I don't have to get the paint pot out. Um, and basically, just paint everything black. <laughs> black acrylic I've got. Covers nice. I can hear Frank's got something. I don't know what it is he's got. I may have to run off and rescue whatever it is. What have you got, Frank? Oh, the little shit. He's found my sewing machine and he's got the spool of thread off the top and chucking it around the place, to be honest. Though in the scheme of things, if it keeps him quiet and out of my way for a bit, then that's not a bad thing, is it? So the black paint covers really, really well on here. Um, the last one that I did, the pink and purple one, I did white inside and that took two or three coats to give it a nice base, but black's bloody lovely, covers great. So just basically painting a load of black and I don't suppose that's really very interesting for you to watch, so I will stop at some point, but uh, I'll uh, just chat a little bit while we get to some of the paint and you'll see how nice it starts to look once you turn in this trash, rubbish, whatever you like to call it, into art magic. I just love making stuff out of rubbish. I always have done. It's like, um, you know, stuff that was going to be thrown away and then you turn it into something that nobody wants to throw away. I mean, how cool is that? Plus, and current circumstances, I don't want to be buying loads of things because um, I've got to keep a check on my finances at the moment. Um, and to be honest, it's it's good practice to keep a check on your finances and not spend money where you don't need to. I still treat myself. Uh, I tend to treat myself to things like paint. <laughs> um, stuff like that. Um, Look how well this is covering them. Um, we may only need like one coat plus a little bit just to make it look nice. I'll make sure I get that edge nice there. And then cover all the ribbon. It's quite satisfying just sitting here painting, pondering. I was a bit frustrated last week when I couldn't do much, couldn't do any videos and things, but it's nice to spend time with grandkids. It's 
precious, isn't it? You know, all the things you'll remember. So, and I'm grateful that I've got the time and energy to spend with them. It can be sometimes challenging. But at the moment, because I'm not going out to work and it's very handy for our daughter who's on her own. So it enables her to go to work and money to look after the children. So I'm doing what a lot of grandparents are doing for these days. There's more and more people have to go to work, don't they? So, right, I need to get, make sure I get on all these corners. Um, tuck under there. stop the video when I go to do the outside bit um, and come back and we'll do the pretty bits then. I'll show you how I do the pretty stuff but I hope you're enjoying watching me do this and I hope it encourages you to make some of your own trashy art magic um, things up oh, shit excuse me just my language it starts to become more difficult when you don't know where to hold <laughs> um, I need to get some of that up here I just sort of paint it in stages dryer in between just to dry things off if I'm if I'm in a hurry. If not, it just sits there ready for me for next time. And I'm I'm always I'm quite impatient. I want to uh, get on to the next bit and the pretty bits. You know, so I find myself Sometimes rushing stages. Yeah, sometimes you're getting it as well. So I think I'm going to stop for a bit now and come back to you when I've covered the whole thing and we can move on to the, the fun stuff. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back again with a black case. Um, I had a bit of a nightmare and got paint on the handle ribbons. So I think I'm going to tinker with that once it's all painted and everything. Uh, I might wrap them or something like that. Anyway, that's what happens when you're making stuff, isn't it? Now you can see some of the light showing through on here. But I'm not too worried about that because I'm going to be putting some white over it anyway. So um, I'm going to get busy with it. Um, so I've got a bit of, oh, I don't know where to start. This is always a scary bit. You know, right when you, yeah, ah, I've just got to get in there. So I've got a, some white, some silver and a tiny bit of black in case I want to make a bit of grey. Um, in fact, I might make a bit of grey first just so that I can might build it up in in some layers and things and I'm going to really really gently brush across this texture that's my first plan anyway ah, let's see how it goes well we can always 
go back over it. You see how those textures are coming through? Just by black. They're bleeding. Oh. There's a firm over the road who sell fencing panels and they've decided that it's really good fun to um, cut up concrete posts today. And you know when you think you're just having one of them days where it's not flowing fabulously. What with missing out filming, rattling away to myself for 10 minutes and then uh, realising my phone wasn't on. It's, yeah, it's gone a bit odd, but anyway, this is looking nice, isn't it? So let's keep brushing over. Let's say if you put too much paint on, you run the risk of losing your texture. Uh, um, get a bit of that silver. Um, oh, I like this. I don't like that noise in the background. You know me, I like it quiet. repaint this black bit in the centre so I'm not worried if I get a bit of white paint on it. Oh, oh. it looks a little bit hobbit like, like um, Lord of the Rings, those little maps that are inside the book. <laughs> hobbit case. Curious case from the Hobbit case. Right. I'm going to rub some over this bit as well. This. Mm -mm. I'll shut up for a minute anyway. We'll see how long that lasts. too much more on that so I think I'll just rub a bit on these edges and then I thought we'd do the outside first covered the ribbon in tape to start with to be honest but you know me always in a bloody hurry and up making up hashy things but that's sometimes where the magic happens in it right. see that's looking lovely like that do the back afterwards so sorry if this is a bit close to the camera Oops. 
beautiful. I like how those textures are coming through with the uh, with the tapes on it as well. It looks quite nice. Okay, just this bit here. <laughs> Can you hear uh, Noel? You alright, Nolly? Nolly? You alright? Hey? What are you moaning for? At least these bits don't take long to dry, unlike the base paint. Right, okay, well, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to rub a bit underneath here. I'm not worried about that ribbon there, because I am going to have to do something with it. So, just chuck some of this on. dry and then come back and we'll add some of the uh, the rest of the highlights and things back again right we're all dry now so i've got these things which are some cheap paint sticks that i bought from the works and i use these to highlight things on the uh, grimoires and uh, obviously on this so i'm going to start off using the white one they're great because they're cheap as chips and they, you again, doing this sort of lightly rubbing over the texture, it'll add, oh yes, some more <laughs> highlights to it, which is just what I wanted. So just being careful not to press on. I mean, it's really just holding it ever so gentle. Um, rubbing over these textured things. What the bloody hell are you doing, Noel? What have you got? What are you doing? Hey? That's excellent. These little details coming through. Beautiful. So that's the white. I think I'll just do that right here as well. A little bit on the bottom. It dries quite quick as well, this does. So you don't have to wait ages. that bit <clears throat> and then I'm going to use the silver do the same thing I'm going to go down these edges here as well with the silver down here along there just on all these edges and corners quiet again for a bit we'll see oh I'm liking this hmm. I, might have to... I might have to keep one of these for myself I don't know <laughs> I'm, um, I've always been a bit I'm not precious about the things that I've made, and I do like to pass them on. Um, and then it, it frees up space, and then I want to make something new, so it keeps the creative uh, juices flowing. 
juice is flowing. And um, I'm not much of a hoarder either. I like to enjoy things and then move on. So, I don't know. It sort of feels like I want to keep one for posterity, but I don't know. We'll see. Right, that's the edges. And then I'll rub over here again with this silver to give the nice sparkly highlights. You'll not see a lot of difference in this, but in the light it'll, it'll shine, obviously. on the other ones but I think I'm going to put some glitter on this one so <clears throat> I've got a bit of PVA I think or shall I use the other glue no a bit of PVA okay I'll dab some of the PVA on here. too much. Let's get some of this on. Oh my, this is going to look nice. I like a bit of glitter in our lives. Well, I do anyway. There, okay. So, shake it on the back. Tip it off. Excellent. So I'm going to, oh, you know what, before we go, let's uh, just give this another coat. And oh, shit. Oh, I've got no black. Let's get some more. for doing the writing on the front and we'll do the back and finish the front next once this is all dry it shouldn't take long and then we can work on the inside That looks nice. So I'm going to let this dry and oh, I've done that. You know what? Got a bit more glittery stuff on this. That's it, beautiful. Right. Let this dry and then we can come back, have a look what happened with these ribbons. Um, and I'm going to stick some buttons in the holes finish that off and right on there so see you back in a bit <laughs> 